This video is going to be going over the 6-1 defense and why it is taking over Madden. If you guys want to get my full breakdown of this defense, it's in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. Link is going to be in the description below. Now, we're going to be doing everything out of cover four quarters and in your coaching adjustments, you want to make sure that auto flip is off, auto alignment is on base, option defense is on conservative, flats are on 30, curl flats are on five, and hook curls are on five. One other quick tip for you guys is to put really fast defensive tackles in at both positions and fast linebackers on the outside. We're going to be coming out in cover four quarters, and we're going to be flipping the formation, flipping the play every single time at the play call screen. We're then our base setup. This is what we're going to use against 99.9% .9 of people is we are going to show blitz. We're going to soft squat both outside players, and then we are going to shift our D-line to the left, slant them to the left, and we're going to stand about right here. We're going to hit the audible button, and then we're going to hold our left joystick down, and our entire goal is to engage with the center. As you see here, engage with the center, and as you see, we get instant A-gap pressure against one of the best offenses in the game. So what they're going to start to do is they're going to start to do a lot of different types of slide protections, and when you start to slide protection against 6-1, that is probably one of the worst things that you can do against the defense as a whole because when you start to slide slide protect to one side, you're going to leave yourself very vulnerable on the other side. So one of the things that I like to do uh, with this defense from time to time is if I start to notice, like one of the, for example, one of the things they might actually do here is they might full slide uh, to the left. And if they full slide to the left, you see that you can just get gap pressure. So you don't even necessarily have to care too much if they do that. But one of the things that you will start to see is they will start to block the tight end. If you can consistently get this blitz home, they will start to consistently block the tight end. Then you can do some things like containing and stuff like that. Um, and sometimes it still can come in. So it is a basic disengage or almost like loop defense. However, the other thing that you get in this defense is you always still have the ability to just send five, just send the linebacker off the left side here. One of the things I really like about soft squatting both of these outside corners is they play streaks like they've never played them before. They are really good against stuff like that. And then this five man uh, can come in. I would have obviously wanted the user the, the underneath routes. So you have the ability here to run this five man. Now the user would be slightly different. You wouldn't try to engage with the center. You would just try to kind of stand there for a second. A lot of times you see there, we get that B gap pressure. You have that. And then the other thing that you have is let's say they start blocking the tight end. Let's say they start blocking everybody. Now we're just going to blitz both of our linebackers here. And then you can kind of do whatever coverage you want on the outside here. But basically what's going to happen is you are going to get that left side pressure typically at the quarterback. So this defense has a send four, a send six. Um, you can even if you wanted to, you can actually send three out of this. It's kind of super fluky, but you can basically do a defense that looks like this and try to send three out of it. And essentially, sometimes he can he can uh, get pressure. Another thing that's super underrated about six one that you can do is you can send four off of a side. So for example here, you see that we're going to send this four man off this left side, but now what we're going to do is we're going to vert hook this this uh, defensive tackle. So you see how we vert hook this def defensive tackle. We can have a contain on the back side of the defense and then make it look like this. And what you'll see a lot of times is we get that loop, disengage around, and a lot of times we're going to get that pressure. My favorite way to run the defense, and I think this is going to literally be good against 99.9% .9 of people, is to run this double flat, slant the line to the left side, try to engage with the center as best as I can. Sometimes, as you see right there, it can still loop off of the outside with the defensive tackle. So this is a super, super good defense. And again, I really like it because this just kind of forces their hand from a pass protection perspective, which is what any good four-man does. Any good four-man blitz is going to force them to block somebody or do something right to be able to counter the pressure. Once they start to do that, we can do basic things behind the defense that I think makes it you know, really, really, really good. Like a simple five-man off of the edge here. And you see now you've got this, this kind of loop off the edge. Now, the best way to send the five-man, in my opinion, would be to spread the linebackers. I think it just makes the blitz a little cleaner. And then with your user, I'm going to hold left trigger and just kind of pull to the side. And you see there, that time we were almost able to get that to come in. 
Practice mode is a little funky, the five man, but in game it's a little bit more consistent uh, just from my experience. And in general, you still have the, the really good four man, which is, I think, what makes the defense, you know, as good as it is anyway. So, anyways, this is the 6 1 defense. You want to be using the soft squats. And then if you feel like if you feel like you need to, you can half both of these guys. I really like to leave them as is just because it's really good for seam streaks. But if you feel like you need a half, you, you, have, you need a half, you can do that. You can also send five off of the right side. So real quick, just to recap, you have a four-man blitz in this, which basically looks like this. Let me show you real quick. This is what the four-man is going to look like. And then you're just going to try to engage with the center off rip. Sometimes it does get bumped like that. It doesn't work. But if you engage with the center properly, you can get a four-man A-gap. And then you have a five-man blitz where we're just going to Blitz this guy off of the left side. I like to contain when I do this. And you'll see here that we're able to get either a B-gap blitz or a loop around the edge. And then if you want to send five off of the left side, you don't really need to do anything. Just blitz the linebacker off the left side. I like to still spread the linebackers in this. And then you'll see here that now this guy is going to come in really, really clean off that side. So you have two variations of a five-man blitz. And then you also have a six-man blitz where you're just going to basically send it off of both sides. The whole reason uh, to do this is when they start to block somebody, now you're going to be able to get really instantaneous pressure, even if they start to block a tight end or a running back. So a lot of really nice ways to uh, just get really, really good pressure out of this defense and the capability to double flat, I think is really effective in this game. If you ever want to send three and just pray, you can do that as well out of this one and you can get decent sheds and a send three out of six one. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to check out the entire 6-1 defense, make sure to join our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard, for all of my offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden and for College Football 25.